do this to get rid of stomach pain whenever i have had a stomach ache or cramps there was this remedy of amma that always worked have you heard of the black nightshade plant curious just keep watching stomach pain could be caused due to multiple reasons here are some of the common reasons just plain indigestion this occurs when the digestive system is unable to properly break down and absorb food leading to discomfort and pain in the upper abdomen gastritis is an inflammation of the stomach lining which can cause stomach ache often accompanied by symptoms such as nausea vomiting and a feeling of fullness gastroenteritis commonly also known as the stomach flu this viral or bacterial infection causes inflammation of the stomach and intestines leading to abdominal pain diarrhea and vomiting peptic ulcers are open sores that develop on the lining of the stomach or upper small intestine they can cause a burning or gnawing pain in the stomach area If gallstones block the bile ducts it can result in intense abdominal pain usually in the upper right portion of the abdomen irritable bowel syndrome or IBS is a chronic disorder which affects the large intestine and can cause recurring abdominal pain bloating and changes in bowel habits such as diarrhea or constipation Gastroesophageal reflux disease or GERD is a condition that occurs when stomach acid flows back into the esophagus leading to a burning sensation in the chest or upper abdomen known as heartburn. Inflammation of the appendix can cause severe pain in the lower right abdomen. It typically requires immediate medical attention and surgery. Constipation is often a common cause of stomach pain. When stool becomes hard and difficult to pass, it can cause abdominal discomfort and pain often accompanied by bloating. Check this video out for all constipation related answers. Some individuals may experience stomach ache and other gastrointestinal symptoms due to an intolerance or allergic reaction to certain foods such as lactose or gluten. Black nightshade is a medicinal plant and scientific name is Solanum nigrum. Believe it or not, it belongs to the same family as potatoes and tomatoes. You often see it growing wild. Known as Manitakkali in Tamil and Malayalam, Makoi in Hindi, and in Sanskrit it is also called as Guccha phala or Bahu phala. We Palakkad Iyers colloquially call it as Marthangali kai. The leaves of this plant and the tiny berries have immense medicinal properties and they are widely used across India in traditional food. In Palakkad Iyer homes, Marthangali kirai is very popularly used to make kira molagutal or kira mashial. What is molagutal? Check it out here. These are the dried Marthangali berries and they are often dried using salt. There are many ways in which we could use these martangali berries but today I am going to be sharing with you a simple 2 minute recipe that amma made whenever I had a stomach ache as a kid and my stomach ache used to vanish but before that let's see what science has to say about this humble black nightshade plant Manitakkali or black nightshade is rich in steroidal alkaloid called glycosides which confer its medicinal properties It's good for colicky pain and to speed up healing of stomach ulcers. Published research shows that it has powerful anti-inflammatory properties which may be the secret why it is effective for stomach related disorders including irritable bowel syndrome. Research additionally suggests that its effectiveness extends to protecting the heart, reducing unhealthy cholesterol and reducing blood sugar. Traditionally it is also used for skin diseases and itching. The paste of leaves is applied for ringworm or other itchy conditions. Its leaves could be boiled and decoction is used to treat spleen and liver disorders. This 2 minute recipe today just uses two ingredients: dried and salted martangali kai and a teaspoon of clarified butter or ghee. If you are a vegan you could use sesame oil instead. So here I've taken a small iron container and first let's heat this container. So once the pan is heated I'm lowering the flame adding a teaspoon of ghee. So let the ghee melt. So now the ghee has melted and I'm adding about 3 tablespoons of 
this matangalikai and I'm just going to be roasting it in the ghee. As I said, vegans could use sesame oil instead. So we just need to roast this for about 30 seconds and you could do this on a sim flame to avoid burning. Yeah, it's done. So I'm switching off the gas. So now, how do we consume this is? I've taken about two tablespoons of cooked rice. Here I've taken brown rice. You could use any rice. And to know the benefits of brown rice, you can see the video link above. So I've taken this rice, adding about two tablespoons of martangalikai, and now nicely mix this. If you wish, you could add a few more drops of ghee. Children usually love this. I used to love this rice. Once you fry it in ghee, they become really crunchy. So you're able to break this. Yeah, that's it. And now this is ready for eating. So you can have about three to four mouthfuls of this mantakali rice three to four times in a day when you have a stomach ache. And very important is you need not wait to have a stomach ache to have mantakali kai rice. You can have it at any time. It's a good stomach cleanser. Mm, I just love it. You can source it from any South Indian grocery store, especially in Tamil Nadu and Kerala. Of course, they are available online. And if you have a Tamilian or a Palakkad Iyer neighbor, obviously they will have a stock of it in their homes, which they will gladly part with. So, do you routinely pop in an allopathic pill every time you have a stomach ache? Let's mull over it. At the start of the video, we saw some of the most common causes of stomach ache. For many of these causes, the Mantakalikai remedy could be effective. So, a good idea would be to try this remedy as your first line of treatment. Why poison ourselves with these chemicals when such traditional home remedies could work? Did you find this video interesting and inspiring? If yes, you could definitely support Munch and Mull by giving us a super thanks on YouTube. At the very least, you could just press that like button and share this video with your family and friends. And if you're new to Munch and Mull, how about subscribing? Hey, have you subscribed to Munch and Mal? Do click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon to receive notifications of my newest videos uploaded every Saturday.